Hey everybody, in this video, we'll talk more about the talk to messaging. And when you get on your sidebar here, uh, when you hover over these icons, again, we talked about the monitoring. Um, if there's any active chats, that'll be going on right here, but also messaging. So um, what will happen is that if you click on messaging, so say if, if it was uh, after you have logged off and you may log back in the next day and find that there are some people that have left a message. And so um, you can reply to those messages by converting them into tickets. Okay. Uh, currently we don't have, and I'm going to show you this, uh, currently we don't, I don't think we have any open right now. So let's see, I'm going to go back over here. Okay. So we don't have any active messages up right now that we already haven't replied to. So what I'm going to do, and you can, you can do this by searching all your past messages by going to this Dropbox. And if you want to look at anything that's impending or closed, you can uh, search that and put that status in there and search it. So I'm going to go to closed messages to show for this training video. I can show you exactly what you're going to probably run into. Okay. So you will have it. It will be under messages here and uh, you'll see which ones are, are, are highlighted here by what site you're working on. Okay. Um, if I was to come down to print tech, you know, those would be all the print text closed messages. If I was to go to Bethany's, this is all the Bethany's closed messages. Okay. So let's just say this one, it wasn't closed and it came in and this came in from Betty and she says, um, and it's really important too, because hopefully if they don't leave, leave an email, we can't really convert it into a ticket because we don't have anything to send them. So you're, you're just going to end up closing that ticket. But if they leave an email, uh, it will be in here if they leave it. And a lot of times, though, you can see that she left it on the form. And so it automatically populates this. And as I talked about in a prior video, if they just happen to leave it in their message, it's always good to copy and paste that email and go ahead and save it and put it into this field, email field, and put it into this uh, and save it. But they actually left the email on the form, on the widget. So it's all good. We have it. So she's just basically saying, you know, where's my, I'm looking for my t-shirt. Um, thank you for, to everyone, you know, blah, blah, blah. I kind of, um, you know, so you were able to go in and check uh, the locker stock account and, and look for her order. But the first thing you're going to want to do is once you have a response and an answer for someone, you're going to want to convert this to a ticket. Okay. And now that it, it's, it's saying a chat with Betty, but really you'll be sending her an email. And so you can come in here and type your, okay, uh, your order is being processed or whatever the answer is. You know, you can type it into this field here. And if you have an order number or a tracking number, you know, any information that you have for that customer, you just want to simply type it in here. And then what you're going to do is hit create. Okay. So what that's going to do is, and I'm going to show, I'm going to come back and show you, that's going to create, that's going to send her an email and it's going to send her a chat and she'll be able to re respond to you if, if she needs to. So if it's something that you, you definitely have an answer to, you want to come over here. So say if you, they were looking for a tracking number and you were able to give that to them, you would want to come over here and you would want to, um, let's see, that's the priority. And since this is already uh, closed, there'll be, and I'll show you uh, here in a second, there'll be uh, a field here to actually close the ticket. Now, if you come back out to your messages and we're going to just get, and we're going to, if you come back out to your messages and there's, there's, you know, they didn't leave an email, um, you can actually just go ahead and close that. And there'll be a button right down here that will actually say close. Okay. Um, so let's go back and, and, and look at the one that we currently have open. Let's go back and just open reset. So, uh, this was with Betty. Um, so you can see, uh, she actually, that, that was the actual example we just used. I wrote back, hello, Betty, I'm checking on your order and I will get back to you. Okay. I was able to go in there and set the status to pending because we weren't sure we were still checking on the order. She wrote back. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> now Shelly came in and she, she, um, and actually you can see Betty kept it at, as open. She was able to change that too, because she wanted to make sure that she's going to, you know, follow up. Shelly came in and found, you know, the answer, but there was a delay. So, you know, your order is being processed. And then Shelly was able to close, set the, the status to closed. Okay. And so if I wanted to come back in here, she wrote back, I'm pleased to hear such a big demand. That's great. Thank you for all your help. 
and you know what we'd want to do now this is uh, can still open now but since this has been resolved we're going to come in here and we're going to simply hit closed and that's going to update it and you can see right now we don't have any open messages because we've replied to them all okay again if you get a message with no email in the, in the email field there's really nothing you can do about it but but close it okay and maybe they'll come back and, and at a later date and try to get the information that they need okay um and so let's see I'm going to go back. I'm going to show you some of the other fields here. So let's just go to closed so I can show you some of the other fields. So if we come in here, some of these are down here. Sometimes you'll get a message. And if, if you want to convert it to a ticket, you can click here or you can click convert to a ticket. You can copy the transcript and for yourself, you can email, uh, you can email uh, the person if they have it. Or if you want to send it to like a, a, a fellow agent, you can email the, the transcript, you can print it, you can add a note uh, to that transcript by here on this button. You can tag a chat if you want to tag it a certain keyword so you can go back and search for it later, you can. And also occasionally you'll get spam and you'll get, you know, spam member or spam people trying to get information. You can simply just click this and this will ban that person and this, this will actually delete the whole chat. So um, those are all of the different um, fields that you can use to do that and uh, in order to in order to again in order to convert to a ticket and send an email you have to either click here or click here okay so that is more on messaging and uh, we'll do another if you have to refer back to the the videos on monitoring those are in videos one and video two and then just a basic overall uh, function of talk to, you can visit, visit the, uh, the basics video, training video. Okay, thanks so much.